Shalom, 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 my brothers and my sisters. Once again, get that pencil out, get that paper, get that King James Version Bible out, and let's go for a ride again. Come on up out of here. You know, uh, I've been trying to do my best for a long time now to try to get people to see their Bible for what it's really saying as opposed to what you're being told it says. If the Bible says, I mean, the Bible says something totally different than what I hear most people out there teaching. If you just read the word line for line, precept upon precept, you'll get the understanding according to Psalms 119, 104. Through thy precepts, I get understanding. Now I'm going to go a little one step deeper because a lot of us think we following uh Yeshua, Yeshia, when we're not actually following Yeshia in our spirit. You can be following him in your mind, but how about your spirit? When you pray, who you see? We've been bombarded with false images of the whole, everybody in the Bible. Everybody except Samson. Samson, the only one in the whole Bible that they'll give you a, 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 a real picture of in their movies. Everybody else look like somebody else. But I'm going to show you something in your Bible today. I'm going to show you something that uh, you ain't never seen before. Because I know this is our book. I'm not crazy. I know this Bible was penned in a dark region of the earth where everybody was melanated. But since they brought it to America, they whitewashed it. So, I'm going to show you some stuff that explains everything. It's no, no reason to be arguing with people, fighting with people, debating with people over who the Son of the Most High God is. You ain't got to go through all that. You just got to know your Bible. Everybody having been made aware of who he is, still to this day, open up your King James Version Bible. Blow that dust off of it. Get that dust off of it. Get you some pencils, a pen, and some paper. And go along with me, because I'm going to go one step deeper. Go with me to Matthew chapter 16. Matthew chapter 16, and let's get an understanding why everybody don't know the sun. Everybody don't know the sun. I'm going to show you why. It's in the Bible. Let's go to Matthew chapter 16. All right. Matthew chapter 16. We'll go straight to the meat. I don't want this video to be long, but I'm just going to show you some stuff. I'm going to show you how we read over things. Matthew chapter 16. We'll start at verse 12. Then understood they it was talking about bread. Christ was talking about the five loaves, the five loaves of the 5,000 in the passages right up above this. So now we're going to go to verse 12. Then understood they how that he bade them not to beware of the leaven of bread, but of the doctrine of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. See, Yeshua Yish was letting the disciples know to beware of the doctrine of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Now here it is, this is 12 men who walking with Yeshua, and he got to tell them to beware of the doctrine of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Are you with me? So who are we? If they're not reading this Bible like I'm teaching this Bible, you better beware. Verse 13. When Yeshua came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, say, now here is his disciples walking with him. He teaching. And now he going to ask them a question. And this question that he going to ask his disciples, I want you to put yourself in the disciples' shoes. Verse 13. When Yeshua came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, he asked his disciples, 
He asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that the Son of Man am? Who do men say I am? That's what basically break it down. Who do men say I am? Who they say? I'm here. I'm walking among them. I'm casting out devils. I'm healing the sick. But who do these people say I am, though they can see me face to face? Oh, come on, everybody here. Who do these people say I am, though they walk in with me? Who do these people say I am, though they hear me talk? Who do these people say I am? Let's see if everybody that was on the scene knew who he was. Though he was there and present with them, walking and eating among them. Verse 14. And they said, some say that thou art John the Baptist. What? Here he is walking among them, sitting down and eating with them and teaching them. And some of the people that seen him with their own eyes said, this John the Baptist. Some, Elias or Elijah. Others saying he Elijah. So you got one group saying he John the Baptist, though they see him, they walking with him. And then you got others saying he Elijah. Elias is Elijah. So, oh my goodness. We got people right there on the scene. Looking at him. Watching him. Know his hair. Know what color his eyes is. Know what color his skin is. And they don't know who he is. And others, Jeremiah's. So other people were saying he was Jeremiah. Or one of the prophets. And he had other people saying he was Isaiah. Other people saying he was Ezekiel. Other people saying maybe he was Hosea. Other people said probably Joel. Other people said Amos. Other people, are you hearing me out there? While he owned the scene, people didn't know who he was, though he was right in the midst of them. Let's keep going. Verse 15. And he said unto them, But whom say ye that I am. Who do you say I am? Everybody else think I'm a Habakkuk. Everybody else, huh? Come on up out of here. Think I'm Amos, one of the prophets. Everybody, some of them think I'm Malachi. Some of them think I'm Elijah. Some of them think I'm John the Baptist. But then he turned to Peter and said, but who do you say I am? Verse 16. And Simon Peter answered and said, I'm going to read it just like this for you babies out there. Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Let's go to verse 17. And Yeshua answered and said unto them, Blessed art thou, Simon Bar-Jonah, for flesh and blood have not revealed it unto thee, but my Father, which is in heaven. Stop. Did anybody just get that? Did anybody just get that? Only the Most High of the Torah can open up your eyes and reveal to you who the Son of the Most High is. Paya! If the Most High of Torah are higher, or whatever your flavor, call him what you want. If he don't open up your eyes to who the son is, you gonna think he's somebody that he not. This is according to the word of the most high God. So, who do you say he is? Go to John 7:38. Go to the book of John, chapter 7, verse 38. 
John 7, 38. John 7. John 7, 38. He that believeth on me as the scriptures has said, as the scriptures has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living, living water. Why is that verse in there? Because all the way back in the book of Matthew chapter 16, when the disciples was walking with him, and he asked them, who do you say I am? But before that, the disciples were saying, some people thought you was Elijah. They thought you was Jeremiah. They thought you was Ezekiel. They thought you was Amos. They thought you was Malachi. They thought you was, oh, come on up out of here, Isaiah. They thought you was John the Baptist. Everybody was thinking that the son of the most high God was everybody but who he was. Then he asked the disciples who they say I am, and Peter answered and said, you the son of the most high God. And then the Bible come right back and say, flesh and blood have not revealed that unto you. So no preacher on the planet can take responsibility for revealing to the sheep and to the masses on the planet who the son of the most high God is. You better come on up out of here. Only the most high. He said, then he came back and said, blessed art thou, Simon, talking about Peter, for flesh and blood have not revealed that unto you, but my father, which is in heaven. Now, you can call the Father which in heaven whatever you think his name is. Because it's him, the one of Torah, that opens up the eyes and the ears of the people to even understand who the Son is. So for all of you out there that don't accept the Son, you got a problem with the Father. Or could I say it like this? The Father got a problem with you. I'm going to say that again. The Father has a problem with you because you're claiming that you're following the father but the father has not opened up your eyes to even begin to show you who the son is and the son said in john 7 38 you and me got to believe on him as the scriptures has said how does the bible say he looked revelation chapter 1 verse 14 and 15 genesis 4 and 12 how does the Bible say he looked? Go with me. Revelation chapter 1. Verse 14 and 15. It's time to put the nails in the coffin. Revelation chapter 14. 1 verse 14 and 15. His head and his hair were white like wool. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Now, I got the dictionary to tell you that the people on the earth that got the woolly hair are the Negro. Don't make me pull it out. Verse 15. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. His feet look like they burned in a what? In a furnace. I got a wood stove up here where I live, and the last time I put anything in there, it turns charcoal black. So do you believe on him as the scriptures has said? After the day you will. Why? Too many of us still got that false image of the sun in our spirit. So that when you're on your knees praying, an image pops up that who you really still got in your spirit. But I'm going to try today to get it out of your spirit and put the right picture of the right one in your spirit. So now, we established. So somebody might say, oh, his eyes were red. That's he and his angelic body. Go to Genesis 49 and 12. Precept must be what? Upon precept. Lying must be what? Upon lying. Let's see why his eyes are red according to the prophecy. Remember, the whole Bible full of prophecies. All the way from the book of Genesis. Even talking about the woman in her seed. And the enemy in his seed. So let's go. Genesis 49 and 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. With what? Wine. Did Yeshua, did Yeshua drink wine in the New Testament? Yeah, he did. Did he turn those bottles into wine? Yeah, he did. Did he tell us that he wasn't going to drink no more wine until he drinking new with us in the kingdom to come? Yeah. So, 
in Genesis 49 and 12, his eyes shall be red with wine and his teeth white with milk. So when you go back to the book of Revelation chapter 1 verse 14 and 15, where it talks about his eyes being red, there go your precept why his eyes was red. He drank wine in moderation. He wasn't a drunkard. He drank wine in moderation. Now go with me to the book of Acts. I'm helping somebody out there. The book of Acts. Chapter 13. And we want verse 1. The book of Acts. Chapter 13 and verse 1. And now I'm going to show you how we read over passages of scripture. You read too fast. Slow down. Acts chapter 13 and verse 1. Let's go. Now there were in the church. Now there were inside the church. Now there were certain people inside the church. I'm just breaking it down for you. There were certain people inside the church. Or I wonder what people was inside the church. That was at Antioch. Okay. There were certain people inside the church that was at Antioch. Certain prophets. Okay. There was prophets inside the church in Antioch. And teachers. Okay. There was prophets and there were teachers inside of the church in Antioch. Now I got a question for you. Don't everybody teach and know that people were called Christians first where? Where? Antioch? Antioch? Antioch, right? They were called Christians first where? In Antioch? Okay. Let's start reading this verse again at the beginning. Now there were in the church, people inside the church, that was at Antioch. Antioch is where they was first called Christians. Certain prophets, or there were certain prophets, got an S on the end. I want you to see that S on the end of prophets. See that S? Look at your Bible. See that S? And teachers, uh-oh, got an S on the end. See that S? So that means more than one. More than one prophet. More than one teacher. They got teachers. They got prophets. 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 Teachers. Teachers. They were in the church in Antioch. As Barnabas. Okay, Barnabas was one of those prophets. Our teachers. And Simeon. Okay, Simeon was one of those prophets and teachers. That was called what? So all of your prophets and your teachers were called what? First in what? Antioch. They were called what? Christians. Uh-oh. We got a problem. <laughs> we got a problem. Because in Antioch, they was first called Christians. They were inside the church. How did these people look that was inside the church that was first called Christians in Antioch? That was prophets and teachers. How did they look? <laughs> How could they be the leaders here? <laughs> and today, they're on the back of the bus. <laughs> How could they be the leaders here? According to Psalms 147, verse 19 and 20. He showed this word on the Jacob right here. Acts 13 and 1. I want you to pin in Psalms 147, verse 19 and 20. The reason they're leaders here is because of Psalms 147, verse 19 and 20. Because they were given the word to what? Share with the other nations. But somebody flipped it, didn't they? Somebody flipped it. How could they be called? I'm going to go ahead and use the word. How could they be called niggers here in Acts 13 and 1? But today the Caucasians are the one teacher. <laughs> Is the devil cold-blooded or what? So he took the leaders of the Christian church, the real leaders, put them on the back of the bus and set somebody else up as the leaders. <laughs> and these leaders that they set up taught us Christmas. <laughs> Taught us Easter. <laughs> taught us Halloween. You know, <laughs> you know, they got a flag up in the pulpit. <laughs> 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 
teaching things they ought not be teaching. They flipped, Satan turned everything upside down. So in Acts 13 and 1, they was black people. The word nigger means black. So Paul, Barnabas, all of the prophets, all of your teachers were black folk. They was called Christians first where? At Antioch. John 7, 38, he said, do you believe on me as the scriptures have said? My friend, if you don't accept that Jesus Christ is a black man, you are considered in his eyes antichrist. Because what? What's happening in your spirit is a form of what? Racism. Undercover, undergirded racism. That you can't accept the fact that this whole Bible is black folk. And the black folk were supposed to take the word of God to the rest of the world, to the Chinese, to the Japanese, to the Pakistani, to the Afghanistani, to the Hittites, the Perizzites, Sodomites. Supposed to take the word to everybody else. Here's your divine order of how the Most High set up the church. Acts 13 and 1 is the divine order on how the church was set up according to race. I'm sorry, but I read from the Bible. I know the last video I did buried all of the gainsayers on the Bible tampering with. You see, that's how you take the power away from Satan, is you address the small foxes that smo spoil the vine. You address them according to the Bible, according to the holy writings, and then you tear it down. Because I, I took that dog out of the fight. I took that dog that the Bible tampered with out of the fight. The, the, the video, the great sin. I took that dog out of the fight, didn't it? Can't put that dog in the fight no more. I took that dog out. So now what you gonna come with? I just showed you in Matthew 16 that it is the Father who revealeth the Son to whom he will. So if those of us out there that don't know who the son is, just like they didn't know back here in Matthew 16, then I, if I was you, I would get on my knees and ask the father, why didn't he open my eyes to reveal it to me? What is it in my life that is not perfect in his eyes? And if it was my ancestors that stood there at that cross and said, let his blood be upon us and upon our children. I will be asking the Most High, is that one of the reasons why I don't know who the Son is today? Can you please remove that curse and open up my eyes so that I can see and understand that how you revealed that to Peter, that flesh and blood have not revealed this unto you, but my Father which is in heaven, who the Son actually is, Yeshua? You see, there's more to this Bible than meets the eye. So, once again, first, they were called Christians in where? Antioch. They were prophets, teachers in Antioch, in the church. Who were they? N-I-G-E-R. So, according to your Bible, once again, I just identified the very people who got put to the back of the bus and told to shut the hell up are the ones that were ordained by the Most High God to teach the rest of the world the Word of God. This El Dario from One Nation, One Father, making it plain and making it simple, didn't it? Now, I didn't give you Daniel chapter 10, verse 5 and 6, where color is also mentioned in the Bible. So for all of you out there that's been taught that color not in the Bible, just give them knuckleheads, Acts 13 and 1. Give them the word that they like to spray paint on the wall. Give them the word that they like to put in the colleges. Hello, and spray paint and call us name that name on Facebook. Give them the word that they like to use all over America. Give them Acts 13 and 1. And let them know that we in good company. Because we the leaders of the church. Shalom.